Hey, how's it going everybody? My name's Lou, and this is Metal Lens Reviews. Welcome. If this is your first time here checking out my channel, thank you. And uh, I'm not sure how you came across it, but I got a little something for everybody on here. Video reactions, movie reviews, podcasts, all that jazz. So, if you like what you see, please do me that favor of like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And, you know, provide you guys with more stuff to watch. So what are we doing? Well, we're back at Eurovision 2024, and this is Serbia's entry into this uh, contest. And, um, yeah, Serbia. Country is definitely on the, uh, you know, uh, checklist of places to visit for me. They're currently building or finished at this huge Orthodox cathedral. I'm into, like, you know, church uh, structures and whatnot, especially of the Eastern kind. And, um, yeah, it's massive. It's massive. I saw, like, online tours of the place and, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's uh, supposed to emulate, resemble the Hagia Sophia, which is, well, it's in Istanbul, Turkey right now. Obviously, it was called something else. Um, you know, Constantinople. And, uh, but yeah, um, definitely, definitely on the list. Um, the artist is Teya Dora. Yeah, Teya Dora. That's what I'm going to go with. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing. Sometimes these names, um, you know, how I thing of them up here don't come out you know right so sorry about that and the name of this song is called Raimonda Raimonda I like it. it has a nice uh, flow to it uh, but yeah never heard of the artist obviously it's my first reaction and um, yeah I'm curious to see what she's got going so let me stop talking cue this video up and uh, let's do this huh Okay, so I wasn't really sure where to pause it at, so I'm just going to do it right here. Um, very visual. Uh, I, so I know there's a like an actual video for this, I think, floating around out there. It's all very recent stuff. Uh, so this performance, which I assume is live, <clears throat> it looks like, I mean, it could be almost passed as like a music video. It's really well done. The audio, you know, it's a given, top notch. And they're singing. They're singing is very unique. It's not, you know, because this could have, what I had envisioned in my head just from seeing the thumbnail, either it's going to be like super poppy, very artsy maybe, like uh, Lady uh, Lady Gaga or something, or some of the other artists that have a lot of experimental to it. And that's what she's doing right here. Um, her voice, it's uh, it's nice, actually kind of relaxing to listen to. Um, you know, it's kind of up and down. And... Uh, like I said, you know, kind of stylish, you know, um, her approach at this, I like, you know, it's not, it, to me anyway, kind of stands out. I'm not sure, like, I'm not saying, you know, it's the most original thing I've heard, but, uh, how she's going about singing the song, I think is very, uh, nice. There's kind of a, I don't want to say gothy, but kind of a melodic darkness kind of to it, 
you know, maybe it's the theme, maybe because the, like I said, the visuals I'm really getting lost in and I uh, really appreciate that. Um, so, uh, if anybody's watching this and happens to be from Serbia or, you know, speak the same lingo, what's it about? I'm interested. You know me. I was like, you know, in the background of the, uh, the songs, uh, you know, so I, you know, I always try to, you know, usually if they have captions, I try to do that too, but this didn't have any. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm like, I like what I'm hearing so far. I think it's pretty good. I think, I think she could stand up with the rest of the, um, very energetic and monumental singers I've seen so far. So, yeah. Real quick, you know, uh, it has a very theatric kind of, uh, or a cinematic kind of feel to it. Like when I see this, I immediately visualize forests, you know, like real deep green uh, trees and, you know, landscapes, you know, but very specific to, uh, I guess, uh, Eastern or Central uh, Europe, you know, I guess Serbia. I don't know, like I said, I haven't been to Serbia, so I don't know what their countryside looks like. But um, this, to me, is like a soundtrack to that. A soundtrack, uh, not quite to nature, but to the wilderness. You know, it's very... The edges are really fine-tuned. It's a nice song. You know, it's beautiful. Um, like I said, it's... I could see it in the background of... Uh, not, not quite a documentary, but maybe like a showcase of like, you know, a beautiful, untouched forest. You know, deep within Eastern Europe or, you know, Central Europe. Um... That's what I get anyway. I'm sure there's a bigger story to the song. And, you know, one of you uh, fine uh, people listening, if you guys want to, you know, translate the, uh, you know, story here, you know, please do so in the comments. Uh, but, yeah, we don't have that much left. Let's go finish it off. <laughs> Okay, there wasn't that much left. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, um, I think that was a nice effort. It was really cool. It was, like I said, it wasn't dramatically over the top, very experimental art. So it was just her with a really nice looking background. Um, but it, what it made me visualize was uh, like a calming nature, but of, uh, you know, different, you know, Nothing you would see in the states. I mean, you know, we have a lot of uh, forest and trees and whatnot on the east and west coast. But I, this, to me, I channeled, um, well, you know, more of a southern European or you know central or eastern European kind of um, display of wilderness. You know, and it has its own flavor. You know, uh, even though some people might argue all forests and trees could look the same, but you know, depending where you are, what region. You know, it does make a difference. That's what I got. Uh, it did have a kind of a cinematic, theatric kind of feel to it, too. And her voice, you know, was very... It was a nice melody. It was, you know, calming. It was kind of drawn in, like a trance a little bit. Um, you know, only a few have done that to me. But, uh, yeah, it was nice. It was a good, good listen. And there you have it, guys. That's uh, Teja Dora with Remanda. This was uh, Serbia's pick for Eurovision 2024. And uh, I thought it was a great performance. What did you guys think? 
Um, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what the story is about this song, the background, down below. Uh, if you haven't already and you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you all very, very soon. Peace.